Hey YouTube, what's going on? Of course, my name's TJ and welcome to another TF2 Tips and Tricks video. Today I want to talk about my scout playstyle and how I use the scout's perk to my advantage. I will cover just some of the basics of being a scout just because there's so many little nuances and exceptions you can make that I can't really mention everything without making a 10 hour long video. Now we'll be going over some of the basics of scout aim, combat movement and positioning. If you control these well enough, you'll be laughing all the way to the top of the scoreboard. Now, to go over the first mentioned basic, the matter of aim. Uh, aiming is crucial in TF2, like in every shooter game ever. But what might be actually more important is movement. So why not utilize this to improve your aim? Of course, you'll still see me moving my mouse and aiming, but what I also do is strafe my crosshair onto the opponent. Since I also have a decent mouse aim, I don't have to fully strafe the crosshair, but I combine, combine short flick shots and strafes into a devastating combo. This is one of the basics of the scout, and one of the ways you can use to improve your scout plays, even if your aim isn't that great. Now for combat movement, I'm actually talking more about the general way to move around in a combat situation. You want to learn how to dodge enemy attacks and keep yourself in range to still do enough damage. To do this, you have to learn how to dodge each type of attack and how to counter the different classes. We might tackle this in detail in another video, but for the moment you want to mainly know about the different attacks within these four spectrums. Um, the hit scan weapons, the fire weapons, the splash damage weapons and the fast projectile or direct hit weapons. As for hit scan weapons, you mostly want to stay unpredictable, strafe back and forth and just add in jumps from time to time to um, keep your opponent's crosshair off of your body, because that's the most important part. Jumping is also fa a very tricky part, because towards the end of the jump people can predict where you're going, so I would advise you to only use it if you notice the enemy has an advantage. You'll have to do this in a scout v scout when you notice the other scout has the upper hand in uh, health or just in general aim at that moment. To counter splash damage weapons there's a rather simple solution. Jump and use your double jump to move in different directions. Stay at medium range for soldiers and be right in the face if it's a demo man. Most soldiers tend to aim at the ground mostly so battling them from a hiding spot will give you quite the advantage. Demo man, they are pretty useless from up close and if they are good they might hit you with a direct pipe but do a massive ton of damage to themselves and if you're on full health you can easily take them out. If you have a good shot at least. Fast projectile weapons would be weapons like the Lodge and Load, the Crusader's Crossbow and the Direct Hit. Well you could kind of see these weapons coming, they are harder to dodge but they don't do much splash damage or no splash damage at all for some. For these weapons you want to try getting close to your opponent and try to get on their side. Uh, only a lucky, or in your case unlucky flick shot will be able to save them in these situations. As for pyros, try to stay out of the range of the flame trolls and try to stay at distance in general. You don't want to be fighting on pyro one on one preferably. But if you have no choice, just stay at medium range, take pot shots, uh, chip away their health and dodge their flares preferably. And if they take out the shotgun, apply hit scan tip. Very easy in the end. Now we'll be going over the last part right now, which is positioning. Your position, like in most games, whether it's FPS, RTS, MOBA or whatever else you can name, is key. For the scouting competitive, his position is almost exclusively the flank. It's not so weird, the scout is a very fast and dangerous class from the sides and can quickly get in and get out of nasty situations, like having to get a certain pick and getting qu out relatively quickly. Now flanking is also a really effective way to get around the pubs. You can quickly get in or your opponent get out and often they won't be able to even react to it. Since often people in pubs won't communicate, this makes it pretty easy. Another possible tactic, which is what I often use in pubs, is to go bait out enemies, make them come to you instead of you to them. This might not seem like much of an advantage, but it works surprisingly well. Since you're not the one having to cover a certain area, it becomes a lot harder for him to shoot and dodge at the same time while running towards you. This could make for an easy pick where you can get out without taking too much damage. 
Now I hope these tips help at least some of you out with the fastest class in the game. Just please, for the love of God, don't stand still when you're firing as a scout. It just makes you look dumb, man. Now thank you all so much for watching. Of course, my name is DJ and I hope to see all of you in the next video. Have a good one.